Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. To my last video, you guys requested an updated vanity tour and I said, you know what, why not? It is long overdue. My vanity has changed so much since my last vanity video. I will link the playlist with all my vanity videos down below. But before we get started, I do have a sponsor for today's video, and it is Scentbird. If you've been around my channel long enough, you guys have already heard me talk about Scentbird, but for those of you that have not, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that allows you to try perfumes every single month for only $15. They have over 600 brands on their website kind of the way that I've found a lot of the perfumes that I love. As you guys know, I have a very extensive perfume collection and Scentbird has definitely played a role in some of the fragrances that I've bought full size. Do get a 30 day supply every single month and you can also upgrade to receive two or three vials if you would like. I do have a lot of luxury brands like uh, Prada and Burberry and Versace. They also have indie labels. All of them are 100% authentic because they work directly with the perfume brands. Whenever you sign up, it'll actually help you discover new fragrances based off of your preferences, which I thought was really cool and just really helpful. You can find like your dream scent just by like putting in like your mood or like the occasion or like by personality neat that you get to just try a small vial of the fragrance before you buy something big you guys know a large bottle of perfume is expensive and it's a huge commitment each vial comes with its own little velvety bag that you can use to put in your purse and the perfume that i've been carrying with me recently and using on the go is the versace bright crystal everybody always tells me to try this the liquid is actually pink you might not be able to tell because there's so much pink in this room but the liquid is actually like a light pink and it came in this gorgeous pink um container so they do have a lot of other colors of containers which you guys are going to see but uh, bright crystal is the first one that i have been trying out this month send some fall vibes because they sent this like burgundy and then this red one I have um Nanette Lepore Luna. It smells so sexy. It's just such a soft and sexy scent. It is the Sanctuary Red Panda. A spicy, musky scent. Out of my comfort zone, but still excited to try this one. And then the very last one that I've been trying this month is Burberry Brit. And I've always wanted to get this soft and girly scent. It's really pretty. Hey there you guys have it make sure you use my 30% coupon code which is $10 off your first month I will put the code and the link down below also the link to download their app you guys can easily access it every single month if you decide to subscribe so that you can either skip the month because you're able to skip the month or you can you know pick your fragrance for the month if you didn't enjoy how aesthetically pleasing Scentbird is on my vanity so cute okay let's get started so i figured we could start with a little overview of my vanity here i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like from far away and directly forward i just have my impressions vanity the entire vanity mirror everything is from impressions vanity and then on these sides i have these two gold towers these towers just add such a nice touch and more storage for some of my small items and decor pieces that I just really want to display and I just love them. Those are from Amazon. I will link them down below. On top of my vanity here, I have these two canvases. I always get so many questions about those. Those are from Home Goods is where I found them. They did not come together. I found them set well, they were there at the same time, but you know, they were two separate pieces and I just decided to buy them to put on top of my vanity. I just love the Chanel logos and the fashion shoes it's just so pretty and it matches my uh, room so so well on top of the two towers I just have shopping bags I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit towards the bottom of the vanity and then we're gonna go in detail each tower and everything Here at the bottom of my vanity I have my vanity chair and this is a ghost chair I found on Amazon it just has a really pretty detail to it and honestly it's a little low for my vanity so i'm looking to find another chair soon and then i will probably just use this chair as decor in my home somewhere um, but i really do love the chair i just wish it wasn't so low because i'm kind of like really low whenever i do my makeup 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably be buying a different chair, but I do love this chair for now. I have my Too Faced brush belt hanging from it where I just keep some random brushes in case I do someone's makeup. And then I have a really pretty pink um, furry rug underneath my vanity. That rug is from Amazon as well. I will link it. I wanted to show you guys what in my vanity looks like real quick. Um, it's not like the best because there's cords but the cords are pink so then there's that so i guess it's okay but i just have this really pretty trash can i found at a home goods it's pink on the outside and gold on the inside and then i do have a pillow on the chair and it's one of my pillows from my shop which i will link below and here's a little bit of a closer look at the chair off with this tower right here where i just have one of my flower boxes from my company which i will link down below and you guys these make the perfect decor pieces to put on your vanities on your sofa tables on your coffee bar carts honestly i can put one of these flower boxes anywhere and it just looks so cute a little eiffel tower that's from dollar tree and then i have this cocoa candle this is from Candle Pop Shop, I believe is the name of the shop. Then we go to the next shelf and I have the first half of my perfume collection. I do have a whole video on my perfume collection, so I will link that. And I will do an updated one probably in a few months. The next shelf has my Sorbus Beauty Organizer. I love this organizer. It's so pretty. I love the little knobs. I will link it down below. You can find it on Amazon. And I just have some of my favorite like makeup displayed on this. So I have, you know, um, YSL compacts. Behind that, I have some Kylie ones. It's a little hard to show you, but yeah. We have, we have more YSL back here. Um, again, Kylie. Those are a little dirty. I need to clean them. I actually um, tried to squeeze some foundation out of a thing, like a container, and it just drizzled everywhere and i'm still finding foundation spots in random places like i just did on that compact so i have all my ysl lipsticks my dior lip balm that i love i like to keep this here to grab it quickly and put in my purse back here i'm just going to grab them because it's really hard to show you guys i have like my tube glosses so i have a lancome juicy tube and candy baby by victoria's secret and the rest of the ones back here are from victoria's secret i have um some liquid eyeshadows this right here is a lipstick i'm wearing and this is my favorite that's why i keep it there so i can grab it every day and this is a Too faced focus this is a Too faced melted matte in the color child star oh my gosh this is so pretty i love it so much and in these we have lip products we have lip gloss lip gloss we have liquid lipsticks i use a lot of kylie you will notice um, we have kevin aquan dose of colors and then i guess i could have showed you some of the lip glosses most of them are like mac i just got this color pop one that you guys have seen in a haul and then i have Too faced i have all the kylie ones i love the kylie ones and then over here this is i think dominique cosmetics or something yeah, that's Dominique Cosmetics. And then I do keep some Jeffree Star ones here on the side normally. One of them's missing. It's probably in my purse somewhere. And down here in this one, I do keep lip balms, lipsticks. Um, this is one of my favorites by Too Faced. Right here. I think it's called Strip Search or something. Yeah, it is called Strip Search. I found this because of my friend Steph. This is so good. Um, I have some Gucci. I love the Gucci lipsticks. They're so nice. We have Tom Ford. Um, and the rest of them are just random lipsticks that I like to reach for and lip balms. So have lip scrubs back there. Also, if you want a really good drugstore lip balm, try this Milani one. It's really, really, really good. Really hydrating. Okay. Oh yeah, you guys, this Gucci one's also really good. Okay, and this last one, it's miscellaneous things, honestly. Like, I have my face mister. I have a backup of my Do You primer. I have my Charlotte Tilbury tinted moisturizer and primer. I have this watermelon hangover thing. 
Then I have the Candy Castle palette and this Kylie palette. These are both pastels, so I put them in here for some reason. I don't know. Then I have backups of my Do You Spray because I go through those like crazy. That's everything that's inside of this thing. And then on the side here, I just have this container. I'll take it out for you guys so you can see. It looks like this. And I found this. I think it was Amazon. I'm pretty sure. So I'll link it. And I just keep spare brushes here. These are kind of the brushes I dirty the most because I like to keep those clean on my vanity. But these are the brushes I dirty more. Like I have my my blending brushes these are all like wet and wild and jeffree star if you guys want to see more on brushes let me know i can do a video on that on the very very last shelf i just have all of my body sprays that i love i just finally found my strawberries and champagne and bought another one again i'm just over the moon about that this is my new latest favorite from victoria's secret it's called velvet petals i put this scent on all of my flower boxes before it smelled out and then, of course, my favorite Bath & Body Works one is Confetti Cake Pop. I love teas by Victoria's Secret for date nights. And then, of course, we have Strawberry Pound Cake because Charlotte made me do it. And this is what I've been wearing lately for the fall time. Whenever I just want to feel like fall vibes, I use this Sugar Cherry Crisp. It smells so good and just makes me think of fall. And then back here, I have some Christmas ones from Pink that I got last year and I can't wait to pull those back out this holiday season. Moving to the next gold tower, I have this beautiful, like, I guess you could call it like a flower frame from Vianney and it is so pretty. I'm going to link Vianney's shop below because I feel like every girl needs one of these in their room. It's so cute. You can hang it or just display it how I did. That I have the second half of my um, perfume collection and also I forgot to mention I get a lot of questions about these cake stands I always find these at the Target dollar spot during like spring or Valentine's Day these ones with the little hearts were from Valentine's Day and then the glass one that you guys saw on the other shelf that one I think was from the spring stuff so yeah this is my other half of my perfume collection and then we move along down here and we have this adorable little juicy couture dog. Behind that I have a Too Faced, um, it's like packaging from one of their holiday palettes. And then I have my two brush holders from Sharla. You guys have definitely seen these before. And inside of them I have all of my SL Miss Glam brushes. These are kind of like... There we go. They're kind of messed up. But yeah, I keep my SL Miss Glam brushes in here so that they are dust free and they stay pretty and nice for whenever I want to use them again. Again, the holders are from Sharla, so I will link her shop below. The bottom shelf, I keep my lotions. So definitely not as many as the body sprays, but still a lot. I do like to collect a lot of these lotions and stuff because I use them every day all of the time i put them in my car i put them in my purse i travel with them i only use like victoria's secret and bath and body works and pink lotions so this is where they all are a mousse foam thing i found at home goods and it's really nice it smells it makes you smell really fresh so that's everything for the gold towers now i'm going to move along to what's on top of my vanity kind of what's on the top of the glass vanity and i'm just going to start from the right and we're going to move towards the left so of course the first thing you see that's super eye-catching is my little pearl bear that vianney made me i'm going to link her shop down below if you guys are interested in one of these i can't believe she literally like glues every pearl on this it's incredible like the detailed work that this bear is it's so cute and she knows my room is pink and gold so she made it pink and gold and i'm obsessed with her right next to that have my scent bird perfumes that i told you guys i like to keep on my vanity and they're so precious and they match and i just love them Behind that, I have a makeup bag. I don't have any makeup in this. I just use this when I travel or if I want to store new makeup and remember to use it, I put it inside of this thing. So I also have my infamous Macron. I always get questions about this. I found this at a Dollar Tree, but I will try to find some of these online for you guys. If you are interested, I will try to link one. I just have a really pretty victoria's secret lotion this has pink 
sparkles all over it i love victoria's secret and their packaging it's just always so glamorous and girly and it just makes me want to get ready and feel pretty and sexy <laughs> to this section and i'm now in the mirror hello 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 but yeah down here i just have let me eh, 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 eh. So then I have this beautiful tray that has all these crystals on it and I have my simple human mirror on this. This mirror is pink. It turns on with motion whenever you basically sit in front of it. It charges with a, you know, wall outlet and I'm just going to take it out so you guys can see the color. It's just the perfect baby pink color. You can get this on Amazon, so I will link it below. Right underneath that, I have all of my favorite uh, primers and setting sprays that I like to reach for when I do my makeup. I know it may look a little cluttered, but this is what works for me. This is what's functional for me to have on the top of my vanity. And, you know, it's also really cute. And I love just sitting on this vanity every day and doing my makeup. This Vanity is my sanctuary. This room is literally heaven to me. I love it so much. I spend so much time in here. Of course, you guys know this is also like my office because I work in here. So I have like an eye cream. So I have a Kylie setting spray. I have my Too Faced hangover spray. I have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful YSL primer that has gold specks all in it. My favorite setting spray by Too Faced, this is the Do You spray. I have a random lip balm. I have this primed and poreless primer by Too Faced that I like to use when I feel like my pores are looking a little bit large. I have this Do You uh, Fresh Glow primer and this is the bomb.com. I love this primer. And I have my plump and prime serum. Everybody asks me if this actually plumps or like if it tightens or gets rid of your double chin. I haven't seen anything, but it feels really nice. <laughs> also have my hangover uh, good in bed serum. My very sad almost gone MAC Fix Plus. Everything that was in that tray, so we're just going to put it all back. Moving over to the center of my vanity, I always, always get questions about these brush holders right here. These are from Amazon. I will link them. I did show them in an Amazon video, but I know a lot of you guys miss them or you're new or you found me through a different video. So I'm going to go ahead and link them again down below. Glam Pumpkin. This is from Joanne's Craft Store. I have my Pumpkin Spice Palette because it's what I've been using so much lately and it just gives me fall vibes. It's like fall decor to me. And of course, I have a pumpkin cupcake candle burning because of fall vibes. Usually, I twist it around this way. I think it looks way cuter. I wanted to twist it this way or put the label on the front because I knew you guys might ask what candle it is. So, yeah. Section always um, kind of is my blah section where I put everything else. Um, because this is kind of like the corner where everything that I still need on my vanity but didn't want to put it anywhere else. This is where it goes on this corner right here to the left. I think it's because I'm right-handed. I don't know. But anyway, I have my mug warmer and I always keep one of my favorite mugs. Like if I'm not currently drinking anything, I will put this on there. And this actually also works as a candle um, warmer. However, I like seeing how a candle looks when it's lit. So that's why I just light my candles. But this is really handy whenever you have candles that are like out, like the wick is out, but there's still candle. This is really nice to have for that. But it's also a mug warmer, so I use it to warm up my coffee. And I found this on Amazon, so I will link it. It's obviously, of course, it's the perfect pink color. So I always just keep a mug for decor. This is my favorite one right now to put on my vanity because it has little eyelashes and I feel like it just fits the theme. I have this pink pumpkin over here. This pumpkin um, was a gift from Kimmy as you guys might have seen in one of my previous videos. If you haven't, then this is a gift from Kimmy. She sent me some pink pumpkins from the Christmas tree shop because we don't have those... Um, I don't know if it's in Texas or just the area I'm at. We don't have a Christmas tree shop. So she sent me these gorgeous pink pumpkins. They are literally the perfect shade of pink. 
I also keep my thank you next perfume because I use this perfume so much almost on a daily basis. I have my phone stand right here. This is also from Amazon, but when I'm not using it for my phone or to watch YouTube, I keep my little stiletto mirror on there and this has my little eyelashes on there. Um, is it focus? There we go. This has my little eyelashes on there. If you guys don't know, I have an eyelash company. And this is what the packaging looks like. You guys will see it here in a minute. And um, Tabby from Stiletto, she made me this mirror. And it's just so beautiful. So glam. It's so pretty. I use it to do my makeup like every day. So that's why it stays on top of here. Behind that, I'm just going to move it because I don't want it to fall and break. I have this Victoria's Secret baggie and I have some fall lip colors that I'm currently using. These are the MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks and I've been using these like crazy so I just like keeping them in this bag on top of my vanity. Here, of course, we have a tub of just lip liners and this is my lighter you guys this is my candle lighter i'll link this also so this actually like charges and you can reuse it for a long time so and it's pink of course it's pink so yes we keep that in here okay so i turned off the vanity light so there's not too much of a glare on the glass because i'm about to show you guys everything that's on these top clear drawers this is where i display all of my favorite makeup anything that i think is collectible and just too pretty to put away in a drawer so this first drawer i call the face drawer because i keep face palettes and blushes and highlighters and stuff like that so i have the natural face palette and the coco contour palette underneath that i have the sugar peach palette by too faced which i can show you this one is my favorite. Hold on. It's really hard opening things with one hand, but <laughs> here is the Too Faced palette. And then I do have this one. This is the ice cream palette. What it looks like on the inside. You will notice I really like Too Faced. I have a lot of Too Faced. This right here is new. I just got this. This is the Diamond Light palette. This is, I think, exclusive to QVC or something. So I'll link it down below because I didn't see it anywhere else. I bought this on QVC and it came with a little brush. It's just a little mini pal or like face thing highlighter palette. Yeah, it's like a little mini highlighter palette. It's really, really cute. And I still had it in the box, but I guess we can take it out of the box now. Basically a tiny version of these Diamond Light powders. And then I have my, my baby mini set of SL Miss Glam brushes. You guys need these for traveling. I just use them for traveling and they are so perfect and they're so cute. Look at them. They're just so precious and little and the pink is the perfect shade of pink. My favorite Dior highlighting palette in here because I reach for this so much that I don't want it put away in a drawer. I also have my Dior contour palette that I reach for all the time. Love both of those. A truffle palette by BH and I have to open this one because it's just too cute not to show you guys. Just look at this. It looks like a pastry. It's so pretty. Underneath that I have my Becca Chrissy palette. I don't really reach for that one as often anymore, but I remember I used to use it like every single day. Okay, over here I have the Too Faced Love Flush Palette. I always get questions on this. Unfortunately, this is really, really, really old. And I don't know if you guys can still get your hands on it unless you check like eBay or something. So I'll try to find some eBay listings below and link them for you guys. I also have this Charlotte Tilbury Palette that's so beautiful. It's so celestial. And pretty like look at these colors I use this a lot um, especially that one as you can see this one right here <laughs> you can tell I use so yeah love Charlotte Tilbury love this packaging so much then back here I have my Nicole Guerrero palette which this is a brand new one whenever they came back out with it it's, I hopped on it and bought one because my old one I shattered it so or one of the colors I shattered so yeah I bought a new one and then we have this Kylie face and body highlighter. It's called the Body Glow. It looks like this. It has a dollar sign. 
And then back here, I always get questions about these marble palettes. Like so many questions every time that you guys catch a peek of them. These are from a MAC collection. I don't remember the collection, but I can show you this. <laughs> The little tag so maybe you guys can look it up maybe find it second hand so that one's a face palette and this one here is an eye palette and there was actually another eye palette but i gave it to um my sister so this is the eye palette that i kept i feel like because i opened this one you guys kind of already get the gist of what this looks like so i'm not gonna open that one we're gonna move on to the next drawer in this next drawer, I have more face stuff. Give you an overview. So I keep my Kylie translucent powder here because I'm trying to finish this. It's really good. I love the Kylie translucent powder. I have this Dior blush that is so pretty. Like when you look at it, it's scary. You think you're going to look crazy because well especially me since i'm like medium i'm medium skin i'm not fair at all it just looks neon <laughs> so it looks scary but this is actually a color adjusting blush so it adjusts to your skin tone it's really interesting and it's actually really pretty and flattering so i keep that there because i use that really often i have this kkw um, body and face highlighter shimmer powder then I have these marbled compacts that you guys always ask for. They are from that same MAC collection that came out like two years ago, I believe. And I don't remember what these are. Oh, this is like a blush. Some of these are blushes. Some of them are bronzers. Then we have the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This is from a Patrick Star MAC collection. Dug my nail through it. Oops, that really sucks. <sighs> That's what happens when you try to do this with one hand. Now I gotta go clean my fingers, so BRB. Also, I just want to mention that I do have a video applying this vinyl to the drawers. This pink on the bottom, this did not come like this. This is vinyl that I applied myself. So, yeah, we're here cleaning the stuff off of it, but... But yeah, this is vinyl, this pink stuff, before you guys ask. Because I know you probably will wonder, especially if you just randomly came upon this video. I have my Too Faced Tickle highlighter. I love this highlighter so much. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me rave about this a lot. This one and their cookie one are so pretty. I know it looks like a blush, but I swear it's a highlighter. I have one right here. I have the Fenty Beauty Powder because this is another translucent powder I use all the time. I have this new compact. This is a Barbie compact. I'm going to open it for you guys just for this video so you can see it. You guys need to get this before it's gone. It's too cute not to get your hands on, you guys. Like, here's the back. It's by Pure on hand. But here is what the compact looks like open. It is just... Whew, I thought I dug my nail in it. I didn't. Okay, the inside looks like this. It's rose gold and gold and it's so freaking pretty. I think I'm going to have to buy a second one to use because I don't even want to mess this up, you guys. I know that sounds crazy, but when you collect makeup, that's kind of like a thing. You don't want it to look used because it's collectible. Yeah. Like people that collect Barbies, you know, they don't open them. They just keep them in the box forever. Yes, that it stays right there. I just love how pretty it looks. So next I have a Ciate blush that I use all the time. This is in mar Marbled Light Dusk. Not really pretty. Then I have this blush. This is the only thing that Too Faced has ever sent me in PR. And this was like three years. No, this was in 2012 or 13. And I still have it in mint condition. I've only used it a few times because I'm really proud of it. And the fact that they sent this to me as a gift, it was just really sweet. And I will always remember it because I don't get PR from Too Faced, you guys, as much as people think I do. I do not. I buy everything. If you guys want Too Faced to add me to their PR, just send them this video. So I also have two of their little cocktail what do they call these i don't even know fruit 
fruit collection blushes, fruit cocktail blushes, blush duos, cocktail blushes. So they are cocktail blushes. I was right. I use this one the most. This is in Hello Berries and Bubbly. And I mean, you guys will see why. It looks like right here. A very old candle lights glow highlighter that I have just used the crap out of. <laughs> this is almost gone. And I have the new one right here. And this is how it looks like before it's used. I have a Chanel um, blush right here. This is, let's see, the color Les Beige. Healthy Glow, Multicolor, I don't know. This is a long description. Of course, you know me, I love stripes, especially if it's pink stripes. So was obsessed with that packaging. New Too Faced Primed and Poreless Compact and... This is really good if you want to blot. This is a really great product to keep in your purse. Peach highlighter. This is a cream highlighter. It's called Peach Frost. And I also have the Peach Bronzer, which is a cream bronzer. Chocolate Soleil, Dark Chocolate Soleil, and their Gold Chocolate Soleil. Chocolate Gold. I have their Diamond Light Bronzer back here. Okay, moving on to the very last drawer here. In here, I just have eyeshadow palettes, and these are just the ones that I wanted out and displayed. Um, I have a ton more palettes than this, which you guys will see. I only got my hands on the Pretty Rich palette, and if you guys watch my video, you would have seen what this looks like already, but I'll show you really quick. I have this precious little doggy palette by Too Faced. And this Tarte palette is everything. It's so pretty. I don't even know if they still have this. But this is what it looks like on the inside. And then this palette, I just got this one. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys. It's dreamy. Like, look at these colors, you guys. Look at that shade. Like, wow. I'm so excited to use this. This is by ColourPop, and it's called Truly Madly Deeply. And then we have the Too Faced Natural Eyes and the Too Faced Natural Matte. These are both eyeshadow palettes. These are really good for beginners. I have my Chocolate Bonbons palette. Underneath that I have my Amrezy palette. My Chocolate Bar palette. And the Natural Nudes palette. The Beauty palette. And the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Then back here I have the Carly Bible and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. And that's all of the palettes in here, you guys. If you want me to go through and do like an in-depth like eyeshadow palette collection and show you every single palette on the inside, let me know. I will sit here and do that. It will take hours, but I will do it for you. <laughs> to the top of the vanity, it's time to get into these drawers, you guys. So the top one right here, I just have primers, setting sprays, some skincare, my hangover lip balm. Um, this is the balm right here. What is this again? Oh yeah, the Hyper Real Foundation. This is in rose gold. And I mix this with matte foundations because I have dry skin and it makes matte foundations look amazing on me. So have the MAC um, strobe cream, really good. We have this right here. This is the Wonder Beauty glow ahead this is really nice i recommend this watermelon spray i'm almost out of i put that before i do my makeup i also always use this before i do my makeup this is a Too faced spf moisturizer they're like these jeffree star ones and morphe i use these for mainly eyeshadow like i don't really use these for my face mainly just to wet eyeshadows back there i just have a few backups and stuff the next drawer i just have powders and concealers so oh and then i have my temp to airbrush machine all the way back there and just some some new products this is like pure minerals i need to try that then i have a backup of my Too faced concealer back here concealers kkw elf charlotte tilbury this is by chanel i get bd30 or something i don't even remember you guys you can see there 
And then I have my favorite NARS one right here. This is in custard. I just got this one because it had five stars. So I'm excited to try it for a long, long filming day because it's supposed to keep your makeup intact. Of course, we have Huda Beauty powders, Laura Mercier, Lancome, Becca, and MAC. MAC, yeah. Kevin Aquan. More MAC back here. My foundations. I'm really good about not cluttering this drawer because I used to just keep foundations for no reason, even if I didn't like them. But now I have learned to return them, give them away, or something. So I have my two Born This Way foundations. And yes, I keep them in the box. Don't judge me. I like them that way. So I put them back in the box after I use them until the box is like beat up and then I throw away the box. But yeah, and then I have my two Born This Way matte foundations. I love this foundation, you guys. Love this. And I have dry skin, so I don't know. I really like it, though. This foundation, though, it has been my favorite lately. This is the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. It's so beautiful. I have the color 260N, 240N, and 305N for when I'm tan. I have my Dior Face and Body. I have these um, Benefit stick ones. I don't really... I've been trying these. I'm trying to give it a chance, but I'm, it's not looking positive right now. And we have these back here that are opened. I have my Chanel Ultra Latent. I have my L'Oreal Infallible. I have my Chanel one when I'm tan, so it's darker. I have my NARS one. This is really good foundation right here. I have Huda Beauty, which is too heavy for me, so I need to get rid of that one because I don't, I don't care for it. I have my Dior one, which I love, YSL. I have two more of my L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. As you can tell, that's the only drugstore foundation that I use. Next, this is a lip drawer, and this is just a lot of lipstick, you guys. I'm not going to go through each and every one, but we have liquid lipsticks. We have bullet lipsticks. These are the MAC Limited Edition Marble Collection. We have some lip glosses back here in this corner over here this is all lip gloss and the rest is matte lipsticks then we have a lot of charlotte tilbury dior all of these are dior we have some jeffrey um tart bite beauty all of these on this side are mac and then these are all mac liquid ones so yeah this is the lip drawer it's overflowing it's a crazy mess yeah have our palette drawer and i have so many palettes I, I don't even know where to begin showing you guys but i'll show you a few and then if you guys want like an in-depth palette collection let me know i just got these right here these are kkw beauty this is a smoky one and this is the bridal one there are palettes that she has which i believe it's like the classic and then classic blossom guys here are the kkw palettes I have my semi sweet chocolate bar. I have my classic cutie one by MAC. Um, Naked 3. Just really random ones. Uh, Gingerbread by Too Faced. We have some Jeffrey. We have Juvia's Place. We have, you know, the Venus palettes by Lime Crime. If you guys want to see more of my palettes, I did show more of them in my other collections. But that's it for now. And yes, this is a life right now. And cute slippers like always, even though my outfit looks like I'm Kim Possible. The pink Kim Possible. Next, so this top drawer is always a mess, so don't judge. But this is where I always keep like mascaras and eyeliners and eyebrow stuff and lashes and whatever else. So that's all that's in here, you guys. My lashes for my company which I keep them in here, whichever ones I'm using at the moment. Next is bronzer. So I have my cream palette by Anastasia, a Kevin Aquan palette, a Pixie, my Too Faced bronzing. Well, this is in tan, so I use it as a bronzer. Yeah. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury. I have this liquid body bronzer by KKW. Old, old, old Too Faced ones. Those are collectibles. I don't use them um, anymore. They're definitely expired. But I want to show you guys my favorite one. Hold on. They don't make this anymore. Isn't this absolutely everything? Like, oh, look at this. 
Oh my goodness, why don't they make this anymore? It's so pretty. We have our highlighters. I love this one. So in here I have the medium turn up the light palette by Too Faced. We have just Laura Geller, MAC Pixie. I even have a Betsy Johnson highlighter. Um, the Balm. These are the best highlighters at the drugstore, you guys. CoverGirl, True Blend, Super Stunner. These are so good. This Pixie one's also really good. Yeah, there's a lot of good highlighters now at the drugstore. I remember back in the day when the best highlighter you could get was like this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks thing. <laughs> still pretty. Like, I still use these Shimmer Bricks. I have like a lot of them. I have three. And then I have this Dior. Dior one is super pretty. So all the organizers inside these drawers, like these are from Daiso Japan. These are from Daiso Japan. These right here with the gold. These are from Amazon, which I will link. It's right here, I found at Michael's. Of course, these organizers are also from Amazon. They're clear acrylic ones with like this gold, rose gold outlining. This is all my blushes. I recently decluttered this so I don't have as many anymore. My favorite drawers because it's so like aesthetically pleasing. Bonnie Rose blushes. You guys have seen a lot of these before. I'm going to try not to repeat myself too much from the other videos because most of these are the same. The next drawer that I have, I have random things. So back here I have my Too Faced Christmas Star Palette. I like bringing these out every Christmas to do my makeup and get in the spirit and also just to compare them to whatever they came out with in the current year. This, this is the gingerbread powder from last year. Um, I have a bunch of little limited edition palettes. These are from MAC. Like all of these are like MAC like little eyeshadow palettes. These are really nice for traveling. This one by Tarte. It's like the Tartlet Tees palette. Um, I also have like liquid shadows and these are new right here. These are from the Powder Kiss Fall Collection and some of them are over here for some reason. They're not supposed to be. <laughs> but yeah, these are all single MAC shadows. I'm considering depotting these because they're such beautiful fall colors. But I just don't know that I will reach for them as singles if that makes sense. But look at them. They're so stunning. Like these are all shadows that I would wear. On a daily basis we have some color pop shadows this is like a kylie little duo thing i can't remember the name of these but these came in like boxy charm oh ace beauty they're all palettes you guys so i have like my Too faced natural love i have some more holiday palettes my iconic london palette a pixie palette this is my lorac palettes are in here as well great last drawer you guys these two drawers to show you guys that are like completely somewhere else but this is my makeup that i've found in mexico before and we have bisu which is a hispanic brand as you guys know i film videos in spanish so there's this is just stuff um that i found over there also in here is a mixture of authentic jeffree star stuff and some that i found in mexico so some, some of these are actual Jeffree Star and some of these are not. Yeah, I did a video about this on my Spanish channel. But yeah, I thought I would just share with you guys real quick. I also get these glitters over there that are really good. Hey you guys, I'm out of breath. I'm starving. I'm thirsty. I'm all kinds of things, but we got through it. I showed you guys my entire Vanity Tour makeup collection. All of the new makeup, everything. Told you where everything's from, hopefully. But if you have any questions, just let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you stayed until the end, leave me this emoji. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more pink videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.